Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this Enlight app tutorial. In this Enlight app tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool color splash effect. It's really simple. If you haven't checked my Enlight overview, I'll put the link on the screen right now, and the link will also be in the description. It's an excellent little app, really cheap, and there's lots of things that you can um, use to enhance your video, your your images. Um, and making them look really cool. So like I said today, I'm going to um, going to show you how to do this color splash effect. So let's get right in and do that. This is just a stock image, so it's no special image. Um, there's no sort of copyright issues with it. It's just a stock image. So let me select this image right. Let me select this image right here. I'm going to just go back and make it back to normal. So this is the um, the image that we're going to that we're going to use and make it do the, the color splash effect on so I'm gonna go top right hand side I'm gonna go to open up my tools just click the button open up my tools and then I'm gonna go to filters and select black and white filter now obviously I'm on my phone I'm just pressing the the screen to select the filters I'm gonna use this neutral filter right here there's lots of other black and white filters that we could use but I'm just gonna use this neutral filter here and then I'm gonna go I'm not gonna click this little tick up the right hand side um, I'm gonna go to my tools down the bottom then my mask down the bottom so you've got tools and there's lots of things that you could do you could change the tone you could change the filter the film the vignette and the border with the um with with the tools right away but we want to just go to the mask on the right hand side and you'll see this wipe here is highlighted blue so if i was going to click apply it would be highlighted blue but i want to select the wipe and it's highlighted blue now all i'm going to do is pinch and squeeze my image to zoom it in and then I am going to use my finger and carefully using the wipe, I'm going to wipe away, it's not colouring in, I'm wiping away the black and white effect. So it's using a mask and I'm wiping away this black and white effect. And you have to be really careful and it's really, really simple to go over the line, lines or over the edges and spoil the effect of your image. It's quite easy to do. So you just need to be really, really careful. And what I would suggest you do is when you're zooming in really close like this, just touch with your finger as opposed to sliding with your finger. So as opposed to like you are colouring in or wiping away the black and white, just just touch with your finger. So you just it's like just touching up the image if you like. And then I'm going to go around the watch. And all I'm doing is I'm just colouring in with my finger. I'm just swiping over the colours or swiping over the image to reveal the colors. And again, like I said, when you get to the edges, so if you look here really closely, you'll see I've gone over the edge a little bit, but when you get to the edges, just touch the screen, just tap or dab the screen if you like, to wipe away that black and white, that black and white effect that you've got. just do it carefully and it's really really simple <clears throat> so now you'll see that we've got this um, this color splash effect which was really really easy to apply I'm sure you'll agree and it took seconds and then I'm gonna to click top right hand corner this apply button or the little tick button and then I'm gonna go back into my f into my um, close my filter sorry and go into my image and click the adjust button now on the adjust button, there's, a few, there's some some um, handy little presets that you could apply yourself, like so. And this clean is quite nice, so it gives like a Photoshop effect. Now I selected this clean, and now what I could do is slide left or right on my um, on my screen to adjust the intensity or the application, the percentage application of this clean. So you will notice around the arm area on the left hand side of the watch if i tone it down you'll see the um the the skin tone but if i tone it up you'll see the skin tone fade away so it's almost like photoshopping the image if you like and what i've done i've took it up to around um 78 percent and then i'm going to click the little um tick button or the apply button and then i'm going to go clarity on my tools and on my clarity, I'm going to come along to this denoise little filter right here. Select the denoise filter. Drag it up. And again, if you look at the arm, select the denoise and drag it up. And it will give it even more of a 
sort of fake view, if you like. So once I've applied the denoise, I'm happy with this. Now if I click this little button on the right hand side, it will show me how it started, how the, how the image was before I applied that last filter or the last effect. I'm gonna click. So I'll get it up to 63, click the little apply button, and then I'm gonna go back to my filters. Now with my filters, I'm gonna go to the analog filters. It's quite a few things that I can change. What I want to do, I want to apply this Fuji, like so. This Fuji, quite a nice little filter. And I'm gonna drag it up to around 83, between 83, between 80 and 90% on the bottom. And that gives us our, um, and click the apply button. And that gives us our nice color splash effect. And it's um, got rid of any of the edges that have gone over or or appears to have got rid of any of the edges that have gone over. So I'm sure you'll agree that it was really, really simple to do and really, really effective if you look at the image, especially as you consider, if you consider it, it's done on the phone. It looks quite professional. So that's Enlighten app for you. Um, I will be doing more in tutorials on Enlighten app because I'm really enjoying it and I'm, I'm you know, enjoying doing things on my, um, with images on my phone. Um, I like creating stuff, as you know, um, and I will continue to do the, um, to do the tutorials for you. So um, have a great day. I'll catch you soon.